Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so happy that you are with us this morning so we can share in morning prayers. I hope you were able to get out yesterday later in the afternoon. It was absolutely beautiful. So I hope you were able to get some fresh air, a little sunshine, maybe a little playtime in the backyard and a little exercise. Thank you for joining us again. And let's put ourselves in the presence of God and get ready for our prayers this morning. Today is Sunday, March 22nd, 2020. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, we give you this day our joys and sorrows, our work and play. Help us to live gently, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with you, amen. Please pray for all the sick, and all the intentions we hold deep within our hearts. On this fourth Sunday of Lent, Jesus teaches that sickness is not a result of sin. This was a common belief in his time. Jesus heals the blind man and gives him sight. We are also called to be healers in our world. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. As he walked along, he saw a blind man from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's works might be revealed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said this, he spat on the ground and made mud with his saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. Then he went and washed and came back and was able to see the Gospel of the Lord. Good and gracious God, may we follow Jesus. May we be a light that shows your goodness. May we be a healing presence to those who are suffering. We ask this in Christ's name, amen. The prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and is in dying that we are born to eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, thank you again, boys and girls, for sharing prayers with us this morning. Um, If you tune in to the Catholic Faith Network today, they will have a few masses on, so you can celebrate mass watching it on TV with your family. The teachers are excited to be back in touch with you next week. We're going to try and get a couple of videos going for the classes so we can see each other. So the teachers are working hard on that. I'm in contact with them every day. And again, they say, you know, they're thinking of you. They're proud of you. We're all very proud of you and your hard work. And just remember, we miss you. We love you. And we're OLP strong. Be kind to each other and make good choices.